Hello, Terracon4 here. Today I'm going to talk about an update to the Interact and Possession system. This here is a map to demonstrate a new component, the Possession System MBP, or Multi-Possession System. Here you will see there's a tank, two separate entry points. I can swap between them by tapping C. And importantly, a second player can get into and make use of the other part of the vehicle at the same time. This can allow you to make a vehicle work in multiplayer with multiple players interacting and using it at the same time. This is a little bit of a hat trick since there's technically a second pawn added which that player is possessing for the turret. However, it functionally will still allow a person to easily set up a vehicle which can allow for multiple players to make use of it. This is a update, more or less, and has the following addition. Possession system underscore MBP. This is the new possession system variant. You can also use it for single actor possession where you only have a single position slot, and it's got a few different features such as the having characters sticking out of it. And then there are some updates to the Interact Blueprint interface, such as the Possessing Info, the multi-possession system, as info which will pass along to all relevant actors whenever a controller has possessed or depossessed one of the relevant actors. This can provide information such as the what that controller is now possessing, what the original pawn character is for that one, the position that they are now entering, the seat type of that position, and whether or not it is returned to its original pawn that it is now possessing. Seat type is a enumeration which you can effectively set up your own desired values for. You can modify this, add or remove things as you want, set up your own la labels. On its own it doesn't do anything in engine, but since that's info that you have access to, you can then hook that up to animations so that your character will know what type of animation to take while in a given type of position for vehicles. So you might have a unique position for some specific vehicles and a few things that could be shared between different vehicles, like a simple sitting in a passenger seat for a transport. The Here's the demo tank. Pretty straightforward. The main thing to note here is that it's got a turret pawn, which the turret operator will make use of. And the turret pawn is able to send updates through this turret rotation and turret cannon event. And here's the turret pawn, which simply has some standard things for moving or exiting the vehicle, and here are the specific events to move or fire the cannon. The pawn actors themselves are something that you can make on your own and do not have any specific class other than needing to be pawn. Uh, you will generally to make them work, though, want to set up certain events such as the requesting move or requesting exit to the parent actors possession system so that they can actually have the character be moved. The possession system itself is largely similar to the original possession system, but it's got some new options here under the positions info, which allows you to have various options such as here for a given entry position keyword. This will, after being sorted, those components will then line up to these, such as if you try to enter through the volumes at the front, EV01, that being EV02, EV01 A and B, these are at the front of the tank. This would result in you entering through the priority of position 0, which is into this actor pawn itself, or 1 into the turret if the main driving position is already taken. Seat type allows you to set up how your character should animate or whatever, a simple info piece for you to use however you want yourself. And then there is the position component which says where to actually stick them. Another noticeable thing that you'll need to do is under the construction script for one of these actors, you'll want to set up the pawn list and the position list 
in construction script, since you cannot reliably make references to actors on the side details window, you need to plug these in in blueprint or during runtime or something like that, since you're making references to a actor or object in the world. In this case, this actor, the tank actor itself, is the first pawn for the position zero, or the driver's position, while the turret pawn, which is that child actor here, is the position one, or a turret position. And the possession system will keep track of who's where, what's where, and all that stuff, so that by simply sending it requests to move around, exit, or swap location, you can have everything be managed with this system. So, a bit more complex than the original interact and possession system, but does allow you the option to have vehicles that multiple players can operate at the same time in your game. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the well comment section below. Till next time.